a performance report with J and A Pole Construction in Wales, Wisconsin. Slip forming sidewalk with the next generation Commander 3. We visited with Dan Pohl, president of the company. It's a funny story because I was at the World of Concrete with my friend this year and the Gamako exhibit is always you know, pretty popular and uh, I couldn't even get near the, the machine they had because there were so many people looking at it and I have made a comment to my friend. I said, I'm not, not really in the market to buy anything so I'll, let's just, we'll move on, I'll, you know, whatever. And then uh, this spring, I started thinking about it and thinking about my age and thinking about how long I got left. And I'm always big on updating equipment and uh, it, made, it made sense that, uh, and we had to work for it. And now that the market's coming back, we're gonna have to work for it. So uh, it'll pay for itself. Could you give us a, a little history about your company? Uh, my dad owned, was part owner of a construction company for about 10 or 15 years and then decided to go out on his own in 1992. And we started out with a used 3600 for our first curb machine. And then uh, as we grew, we bought uh, one of the newer, when the first two generations came out, which was about 13 years ago, 2001. And uh, we just since traded that machine in for this one right here. And uh, very happy. Why don't you tell us a little bit about this particular project that we've, that we've been looking at today with the sidewalk. Uh, this particular project is a Wiscott project. It's out here in Wales, Wisconsin. Pretty popular, popular area. It's lake country out here. Uh, this road's needed expansion for years. Um, and they finally got to it. It's a little bit behind. It's had some pretty significant utility delays. This work we're doing now should have been done about eight weeks ago. Uh, there's about 55,000 feet of curb out here and another you know, three, four miles of sidewalk and done in multiple phases, got a roundabout in it. And uh, we're just chipping away at it. We're doing this side here so they can start uh, working on that side, hopefully before the snow flies. The new Commander 3 features a pivoting operator's console to position the controls and the direction of travel for the application. The vibrator controls are located on the perimeter of the operator station, next to the console for easy reach. In this case, the vibrator controls are directly over the finished product. The sensor bulkhead location is now conveniently located at the new G-Box. The G-Box is located on the legs to accommodate improved steering and grade with G-Plus controls. The G-Box is part of Gameco's electronic and hydraulic initiative. On this project, we also had the opportunity to visit with JNA Poles operator, Neil Ellenberg, who was getting familiar with the next generation Commander 3 and G-Plus controls. All oh, setup is very easy. It's uh, probably, if I would have the mold on, I'd take it off the low boy, probably within 15 minutes we can start pouring. Uh, the machine is very quiet, and you can definitely feel the power on it. The, the whole entire machine is extremely smooth. And with a G Plus, it's more incremental that you can uh, go over with uh, pretty high fine tuning with this. Instead of just jumping up in a speed and all of a sudden the machine jerks, you can really ease into your pour. We're noticing that back with the finishers that they're not getting too much of the uh, fast starts and stops that I sometimes do for them. One of the features I really like is to uh, find out what fault you have, as I have a fault history, which is very important, so you can see what's going on that way. The sensors went off string line and the machine just stopped. Yes, it did. That yeah, because uh, the gray one got bumped and it came offline and the entire machine stopped. It uh, conveyor, trimmer, everything stopped, so it gave me the chance to find out what the problem was, correct it, reset everything, and keep on going instead of going on with a longer handset. And do you like that feature? Absolutely. It's, it's definitely a great feature to have. The operator's platform on the Commander 3 is isolated from vibrations. And we asked Neil if he noticed the difference. Yes, I do. It's driving home after work, uh, I definitely notice it in my, my, my feet. Uh, you don't have that tired feeling. You're still going to get it because you're out of standing on your feet, but you don't have that 
fuzzy feeling that most operators know what I'm talking about. G Plus controls the hydraulic fan on the engine, which adapts the cooling based on the ambient job site conditions. Dan said, it's so quiet you don't even know it's running. And when I bought that thing and got on it and tried to get the idle to go all the way up, I had to ask the tech, Jason, I said, well, how do I turn this thing up? Because, I mean, it's just idling and I did it and it didn't move and he said, what's the RPMs? And I said, 2200, he goes, that's full idle. Uh, one of the other things I did on this machine that I've never done before is I got the uh, the grousers, the rubber grousers on there, the pads, and it's made a it's made a huge difference from just we do a lot of in and out of the hole, and we usually take tires or wood blocking or whatever, and you got to take people through two three people at a time down there to do it, and now you can just kind of make a ramp and walk right out. We're pretty proud that number two went to you. I was surprised it was only number two, but I mean. I, I'm big on upgrading machines, but I don't just upgrade them for any reason. And this is a substantial technological change, I would say. And, and actually having it pour now, it, it really is, to me, worth it. And it actually, when I, uh, when I did the math on what I, how I got the trade-in value versus the cost and how many years I had it, I mean, it was, then it was a no-brainer. This has been a performance report on the next generation Commander 3 in Wales, Wisconsin, with J and A Pole Construction. Umeka, the worldwide leader in concrete paving technology.